For the rest of this morning, I'm going to talk about building apps using the services from ArcGIS platform. Now, as David said, developers have choices. You can start with low code or no code, or you could use one of the various APIs working with the platform. These APIs will help you build web applications, native and embedded applications, and even applications built using game engines. And we also have a design system to help you make beautiful looking apps. With that design system, you get a CSS and JavaScript framework that has a set of web components for easy integration into your applications. It comes with graphic resources and design guidelines. But perhaps my favorite is the help system. It's truly interactive, and it helps you get up and running very efficiently with Esri's design system. To show us this design system in action, I'd like to introduce Julie. Over to you, Julie. Thanks, Ewan. I'd like to introduce you to your new design system. I'll talk about the components that come with it and how you as developers can take advantage of it in your own web apps. Now, oftentimes when you're creating a suite of applications, there's a need to make it feel like your apps belong together. And you can reach a certain level of consistency as you go between applications, you have a sense of familiarity. And some organizations would like to achieve brand recognition through a unified design. And all of this is possible, but it could be a great amount of work if you start from scratch. So many designers and developers choose to use a design system to make that whole process easier. So what is a design system? Well, it's a collection of UI components, icons, and colors that come together and help you more efficiently create a consistent look and feel. It includes design patterns and best practices. And these really help you apply those resources in such a way that it results in a positive user experience. Now, for some years, we've been working on Esri's design system, and it's called Calcite. And now we're making it available to all of you so you can use it in your own web apps. All you have to do is go to the developer website, create an account, and you can start using it. Now, chances are you might have already seen Calcite because the new map viewer in ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise uses Calcite for the user experience. Let's have a closer look. Now, first of all, it helps with the UI layout. So you see the header and a panel. And it also provides the UI building blocks that composes of the user interface. So you see the date picker, an accordion, radio button group, and a slider. You might even recognize these same components in other Esri web apps because it also uses the design system. So what I'd like to do is give you a quick tour of Calcite. Now, first of all, it includes a rich library of UI components that are accessible and responsive. And because they're built as web components, you can use them with any JavaScript framework. And they're also flexible, so you can configure them for your particular use case. And I think the part that I like the best is because they're responsive, they're designed for it to work on any form factor. So you can have confidence when you build your application and that it'll adapt well for any screen size. You also get access to the best practices. And these are really aimed to help you build intuitive applications. So there's recommendations of how to configure components that will result in the most effective design. It comes with colors and themes. And colors are really important because it helps convey information and prioritize actions. There's a light theme and a dark theme, and both were designed with accessibility in mind. So your app can reach the widest audience, and all users can have a high quality experience when they use your app. And finally, there's 1,400 icons you can choose from. And this really helps tell more of a visual story and simplify the text in your apps. So now I'd like to transition to a demo and show you Calcite in action. Now, everything you need to get started is available in the developer website. So I can go to components, I can browse and see all the components available, go into one I'm interested in, like the accordion. And what I like is I can turn the knobs and see how the component adjusts. For example, look at the dark theme. I can change the scale to large or keep it at medium. And I can change individual accordion items. For example, I can change the icon to a person and change the label to say person. And once I like the way it looks, I can preview the code here, copy it, and paste it into my application. Or I can view a live application in CodePen. Now, I've gone ahead and created an application that helps me find vaccine provider locations. Now, this is built with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript and Calcite. And this really works out well, because the JavaScript API's widgets were built with the design system. So together, they really blend well. 
So what I can do is change the search criteria using a calcite slider, and then I can see the results with the calcite accordion. Now, as I mentioned, these are built by, as web components, which is a W3C standard. And there's many benefits of that. One of them includes the fact that I can just use vanilla JavaScript, CSS, and HTML to use this in my application. So for example, to use the accordion, it just looks like this. Now, if I instead would like to use the dark theme, it's just a matter of changing a single property to set the theme to dark, and then all the components adjust to use the dark theme. Now here's that same application, only now to find bakeries. And what you might notice is that it has a custom font, and then I have a custom button shape and branding colors. And all of these changes are really simple. For example, to change the branding colors, it's just a couple CSS variables I set, and then it applies throughout my application. So I hope what this shows you is that you can truly create a consistent design. You can seamlessly integrate with the ArcGIS ecosystem, and at the same time, highlight your own brand and style. So I invite all of you on April 22nd to go to the developer website, search for Calcite, and get started using this valuable resource.